Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys is an American science fiction comedy animated television series. The show premiered on September 7, 1996 and ended after 26 episodes on June 21, 1997. It was produced by Hallmark Entertainment, Monkeyshine Productions. Inc., and distributed by Bobot Entertainment and aired as part of a syndicated animation block known as Amazing Adventures, later known as BKN. Topic. Summary During the Monkey Man spaceflights of the 1960s, one rocket veered off course, sending a chimp named Charlie off into the outer reaches of space. After many years, Charlie's craft was discovered by the most intelligent race in the universe, the quote quote, pronounced by not saying anything. Then followed with the explanation that their race is so advanced that their name cannot be pronounced or written, only thought. The running joke then had the other space monkeys asking, the who? Charlie was given enhanced intelligence, weapons, and futuristic technology, along with a charge to protect the universe from the evil Lord Nebula. One of the more unusual villains in cartoon history, Nebula was a half-human, half-black hole who hoped to become a complete black hole, swallow the universe in a big crunch, then remake it in his own image. His one problem was that, being half-human, he was still susceptible to human ailments, such as the common cold and stomach aches. To aid Charlie, who was given the title, Captain Charlie Simeon, the quote quote allowed him to recruit a team of fellow Earth monkeys, Xiao Lin, a Chinese golden monkey with swift fighting skills and serene wisdom, Spider, a wisecracking little spider monkey with a long prehensile tail, Dr. Splits, Split C, an orangutan with a scientist, madman split personality, and Gore, a big, strong gorilla who wrecked the intelligence-enhancing machine before he got a full helping. The group crews the stars in their ship, the Primate Avenger, battling Nebula and his cyborg monkey henchman, Rhesus II, and searching for the ever-elusive bananas. The monkeys mixed fast-talking humor with fast-paced action. Topic. Characters Topic. Heroes Captain Charles Chuck Simeon, originally a chimpanzee named Charlie, sent into space in the 1960s by NASA. After drifting off course and being frozen for many years, he was discovered by the quote quote. They believed he was sent by Earth as the most advanced species of the planet. When they realized he was not, they used a machine to evolve Charlie into a sentient being. After being told about Nebula, Captain Simeon, as he now called himself, recruited a team of fellow Earth monkeys and apes to help him save the universe. Gore Illa, Gore, a mountain gorilla originally from Uganda as a dominant male, and the crew's muscle. During the evolution process he accidentally wrecked the intelligence-enhancing machine before its completion. This left Gore rather naive and childlike, while at the same time possessing extraordinary strength. Gore is naturally quite peaceful and does not wish to do anyone harm, but when his friends are in danger he goes into a berserk rage. In an early episode Apex below kidnapped Gore to make him a prize fighter, but since Gore's peaceful nature did not permit him to fight needlessly, Apex experimented on him, turning him into a mindless, raging gigantic King Kong-like gorilla named Gormongus. Dr. Splits was unable to reverse the effect of Apex's isotope, meaning that Gore turns into Gormongus whenever he gets angry, in a manner similar to that of the Incredible Hulk. Orbitron, a small ball-shaped robot, given to Charlie by the quote quote to help him on his mission. Its role was to provide the monkeys with the additional knowledge they required for their journey. Already quite cynical and unpleasant, it was accidentally damaged by gore and subsequently went quite insane, floating around sputtering nonsense that only occasionally makes sense. This leads Captain Simeon to often say, Gotta get that thing fixed. Because it is so technologically advanced Dr. Splits was unable to repair it despite trying. 
Spider, a wisecracking little spider monkey, originally the property of an organ grinder from New York City. A pickpocket, grifter, and all-around thief, he often tries to take advantage of Gore by trying to get him to do his work and trying numerous get-rich-quick schemes which get him into trouble with the captain. Despite these flaws, Spider is loyal to the mission, and will never betray his friends or the universe for money. He is especially close to Gore, and will not let anyone else take advantage of him. Spider is in charge of communications. Dr. Splits, Split C, a former zoo orangutan with a dual personality that alternates between an effete academic, Dr. Splits, and a rustic yokel, Split C. The doctor excels at scientific theory and somewhat cowardly, while Split C is a mechanic and engineer eager to jump into a fight. The two personalities are aware of each other and bicker constantly, but often rely on each other to make up for their individual shortcomings. Xiao Lin, a Chinese golden monkey, who originally lived at a Buddhist temple where she was worshipped as a goddess. She continues to act as a goddess with the rest of the crew even, on occasion, addressing herself in the royal, we. This leads to considerable tension at first, though over time she warms to the others and vice versa. Skilled in martial arts and knowledgeable in Buddhist wisdom, she is Captain Simeon's first officer. There are occasional hints of a romantic attraction between her and the captain, though this was never developed. Topic. Villains Lord Nebula, voiced by Michael Dorn, Nebula is a half-humanoid, half-black hole who hoped to become a complete black hole, swallow the universe in a big crunch, then remake it in his own image. The gaseous nature of Nebulae is employed as a running gag, as Nebula seems to constantly suffer from some cosmic analogue of gastrointestinal distress. In the series finale he is trapped in an orb and Rhesus II takes over Rhesus II, an enforcer of Lord Nebula. Originally a Rhesus monkey sent into space, Nebula made him intelligent and turned him partially into a robot. His brain is detachable and frequently changes from one to another in order to get different ideas. For example, Brain 1 might give him a more devious plan than Brain 2 or vice versa. Apex, voiced by Frank Welker, an alien with green skin and snakes in place of hair. Apex forces other alien creatures to fight in an arena. At one point, he injects an isotope into Gorilla, causing him to turn into a monster whenever he gets angry. He often says, only in Andromeda. Kaz Parr, voiced by Maurice Lamarckey, an owner of a club on Maltese One, who simply planned to steal the primate Avenger, but had to go under the identity of Gore when someone else replaced him to steal the Orbitron and sell it to Nebula, as Orbitron keeps repeating, O, one, O, O, one, O, O, one, O, one, O, and zero to one which was the formula for the GLOP gravi-luminous orbifolding positrons, which had the component needed by Nebula, the anti-force. Other Matrix, a computer that captures the monkeys and learns from them to eventually evolve into a living being. Initially appears in episode Repo Ape. Vogue, Vogue is a two-dimensional alien. When Rhesus II steals gravitons from a cosmic storm, Vogue's world rips open, so he follows Charlie to his universe and asks his help to put the gravitons back before the cosmic storm ends to seal the rip and save his universe. Appeared in episode Monkey in the Middle. Hollow Boons, holographic baboons created by Dr. Splits to test out the atmosphere of unknown planets. They are voiced by Jeff Bennett, with a number of celebrity impressions such as Beavis and Butt-Head, Jerry Lewis, Woody Allen and the Three Stooges. They are a parody of the redshirts from the original Star Trek series, and almost always get destroyed. Grixelpix, Keeper of the Great Ear. This ear is the one of the sleeping giant, whom Grixelpix tells the monkeys is dreaming about the whole universe. Anything that someone asks for to the ear appears. Rhesus attacks Captain Simeon and his crew next to the ear, and in their fight, they awake the giant, causing the universe to disappear. 
Dr. Splits then plays a lullaby on a handheld device, causing the giant to return to his slumber and the universe to be restored. Largo Trix, a swashbuckling space adventurer who meets the crew in a bar in the episode, Monkey Puzzle Man. Initially appearing as a blue-skinned humanoid, Largo gradually turns into a monkey-like creature as he hangs out with the crew, since he can duplicate another's most distinctive characteristic martial arts skills from Shaolin, who he flirts with, for example, after making physical contact. Everyone likes him except Simeon, who insists there's something weird about Largo, and Gore, who resents Spider spending more time with Largo than him, but are dismissed as jealous. Largo invites the crew back to his home, but it turns out to actually belong to Rhesus too, whom Largo is working for. After making contact with Captain Simeon, however, Largo realizes the error of his ways and helps the monkeys escape, apparently sacrificing himself to give them time to get away. However, it turns out at the end he managed to escape and leaves aboard a separate ship. The quote quote an advanced alien race that is so advanced, the name of their species cannot be spoken or written, only thought. They intercepted Captain Simeon while he was still a wild chimpanzee. Believed to be a human broken free of his evolutionary bonds, they gave Simeon the gift, which is advanced intelligence and the power of speech. They assigned Simeon to stop Nebula before he gets the Anti-Force and completes his dark goal which is to destroy the universe and create a new one within himself. During the series, the quote quote retreated to the Tenth Dimension until part one of the series finale, where they warn Simeon that Nebula is getting very close to his goal. Topic. Episodes. Topic. Production and personnel Topic. Production company Epic Inc. Animation, Tunis in Animation Executive Producers Rob Hudnut, Gordon Bresick, Gary Hartle Producer, Joe Pearson Directors Brad Rader, David Schwartz, Joe Pearson, John Fox Art Director Joe Pearson Design Brad Coombs, Harry Warner, Greg Davidson, Sung Woo Hong, Mike Smith, Max Spada and Young Yoon Gi Storyboard John Fox, Vincent Edwards, Jennifer Graves, Dave Kylesteck, Dave Simmons, Mike Hedrick, Adam Van Wyck, Tom Nelson, David Bullock, Lyndon Ruddy, Mike Dockerty, Young Yoon Gi, Robert Souza, Keith Tucker, Chuck Drust. Topic. Voice actors James L. Avery Sr. Gore Illa Jeff Bennett, Orbitron Michael Dorn, Lord Nebula Jerry Doyle, Captain Simeon Dom Herrera, Spider Maurice Lamarckey, Doctor Splits, Split C Karen Maruyama, Shaolin Malcolm McDowell, Rhesus II Topic. True Directors, Brad Rader and David Schwartz Designers, Brad Coombs, Harry Warner, Greg Davidson, Sung Woo Hong, Mike Smith, Max Spada and Young Yoon Gi Storyboard Artists, John Fox, Vincent Edwards, Jennifer Graves, Dave Kylesteck, Dave Simmons, Mike Hedrick, Adam Van Wyck, Tom Nelson, David Bullock, Lyndon Ruddy, Mike Dockerty, Young Yoon Gi, Robert Souza, Keith Tucker, Chuck Drust and Graham Morris Animation Timing Topic. Studios Epic and Tunis in provided all pre-production in LA, including layout. Animation, ink and paint and camera was provided by Sun Min Image Pictures and Gyra Animation, two Seoul-based studios. Post House, Vitello Productions provided strong post-production services.
Topic action figures In 1996, Mattel released a collection of action figures based on Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys. Designed by Bluebird Toys of the UK, the line included nine basic figures and four large vehicles or accessories. The figures, armed with several accessories, were unusually packaged so that the consumer could rotate them inside the card bubble as though they were floating in space. Topic. Stations Topic. In other languages Spanish, Capitan Simio y las Manos Galácticos Italian, Una Giungla di Stel per Capitan Simeon, 